In today's video, I'm going to take you with me to dig at the Goodwill outlet bins for treasure. And then at the end of the video, I will show you what I brought home. Here we go. Good morning. I'm here at the bins. I'm gonna go see if I can find anything good. I'm also looking for a candlestick for a project. And if you notice, if I do film in there, I don't know, it depends on who's in there and how busy it is. If I film and you see that I have white on my hands because I've been working on a DIY and I couldn't get it off. So sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see what I can find. Let's go. The way the bins are currently working, there's about half the number of bins that there used to be. And the first like four bins when you walk in are all clothing and the clothing ones tend to be more popular because a lot of the resellers go and try to find clothes to sell on eBay. So I just skipped all those and I get right to the hard goods. And here I found a little treasure trove of items right off the bat. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I often go to the bins looking for things to craft with. I like to do what's known as assemblage crafting, where you kind of put a lot of different elements together and create kind of like a sculpture that tells a story. So I like to create those and sell them on my Etsy shop. And that's what I was looking for here, trying to see what kind of things I could find for my assemblage crafts. I am also an avid collector of Santa Claus and I thought these were really different. They were by like a wood making company, but they were kind of cool. They were a bit heavy. You definitely see some weird things at the bins. I thought the fact that someone thought it was a good idea to donate their mailbox along with the post that it sat on to Goodwill was a really strange thing. I thought this tin was cute. It almost looked like little tiny Texas shapes on it to me, but I don't know. I don't know if that's actually the shape of Texas, but that's what it made me think of. I'm always surprised when I find things that really should be broken to bits and aren't. And this shell thing was one of those types of items. Mm -hmm. 
I love vintage cameras and at the bins, anything with a battery is only 49 cents. So any camera or clock is 49 cents, even if it weighs a lot. I also really like to find items for my holiday decor and that's all of the holidays so I'm always keeping an eye open for things for Valentine's Day or Christmas or the fall, whatever it would be. And the best part about the bins is sometimes you move a plastic bag and there's a treasure waiting just for you. Isn't she adorable? This was a pretty random find in an electronics bin was a single framed vintage valentine. I did not get these plates. I don't know why. I I really have no clue. I should have picked them up. I didn't. I'm just going to put that right out there. Maybe it's because there was a weird number of them. I don't know. Alright, it was a good day at the bins. I wanted to show you my full dorky getup. The doctor, actually my daughter's doctor, who was advising us as asthmatics in the world, she's like, if you really want to give yourself an extra measure of protection, wear these woodworker goggles because one of the main routes of transmission that people are ignoring for COVID is the eyes, because the eyes are just as susceptible as your mouth or nose. So we got these at Menards for like two bucks, and you do have to make sure they're kind of over the nose of your glasses so that they don't fog up, I mean, up your mask. But you know, it's perfectly fine. It was not uncomfortable and I felt a little more protected, especially at the bins because like you're hunting in one bin and someone's hunting in another. 
you're really by the time you're hunting you're not your heads are not six feet apart so probably more like four or five feet so you know a little extra measure of uh protection and that's about it i will show you my haul when i get home Okay, so I hope it was fun coming along with me to the Goodwill Outlet bins. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. I found some things for myself to keep, some things to craft with, and some things to sell. Um, and my total for the day was $30. And it was a mix of electronic items and then like hard goods. I didn't get any clothing on the day that I went. Okay, so the first thing I got is for a craft. You saw me find these in the, the thrift with me. Wow. <laughs> and they're just curtains, but I'm not using them as curtains. I actually got them for a um, something that I'm making, I think, in August for the fall. So I got several of those, and they are kind of like different colors, but that'll be fine for what I need them for. And oh, I meant to tell you, I did spend $30 and I got over that 25 pound mark. So I did uh, get the lower price, like the $1.49 per pound. Sorry, the sun keeps going in and coming out and going in. It's kind of bright right now. Sorry if I'm squinting, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, and then I got this. So I thought this would be cute somewhere in my coastal decor. It is a little broken somewhere. It's just one little shell that's broken, but... That was miraculous given, uh, you know, what it was with in the bins. So I thought that was pretty cool and I will find a place to put that in my coastal decor. Then I got this for crafting. Just a little, I make a lot of signs and you'll start to see more and more of them on my DIY channel. I like to put signs on my tiered tray. I really love tiered trays. I don't know, just, just something I like to do, something I like to decorate. Actually, I can link one that I recently did here. And I actually just posted a DIY of another one here. And um, so I really like to make signs for my tiered trays and they don't have to be complicated. Like you can just print something out or, you know, put some pretty paper in or whatever, print on a pretty paper and just put it in here. It does not have to be like a complicated DIY. So then I got this, this was in an old frame, but I didn't want it in an old frame cause I'm probably gonna put it in a flower frog. It's by the company. It says Americard made in the USA. It says number 118. And it says, just a line for my Valentine. Oh, that's cute. She has a wash line. And then inside it says, do you mind if I hang around? Ha <laughs> ha, so cute. And it says, to Patsy from Viola. Viola, Viola. So that was really cute. And I can't believe, well, I guess because it was framed. That's why it was safe. I got this map for crafting. It actually looks like someone else was crafting with it because there's a chunk missing from it but these are great if you frame cross stitch projects when i frame my cross stitch projects i like to put paper on the back some i have these like old paper bags that look like um old advertisements if you've seen me frame a cross stitch project i did it once on a video somewhere along the line and i used that but i'm running out of that and i have used map paper before it's just an interesting thing to put on the back of a cross stitch project it's also uh, interesting for lots of different you know crafting projects and because it's already cut up i don't feel bad cutting it let's see what's i didn't even check to see like what it's a map of <laughs> let's see it is a map of not minnesota lake michigan is it michigan wisconsin our neighbors to the east so it's a wisconsin map that someone has already cut up and so i won't be wrecking it by cutting it up for a craft project maps the hardest thing to fold right okay then i got this oh man i was so happy to find this so there is a plant in my kitchen right now it's in an old coffee can like a vintage coffee can which i love but it's red which worked really well with my strawberries does not work with my like coastal turquoisey kind of stuff um, and the things i'm planning for fall so i wanted to put it i was going to make like a chicken wire basket and then put some burlap in and then set the plant in that like the coffee can this way it's still in the coffee can easy to take out at christmas time and have that red coffee can but it will be hidden by the burlap but now i don't have to make the basket so i thought this was really cute it says made in india it's heavy duty 
So it's not like chicken wire, it's like nicer than chicken wire. And I think that's gonna look really cute with uh, burlap and the plant in it in the kitchen. And I set it on this vintage scale that I have. It's great, I love it. Okay, then I got this cutie, which is, I already have, woo, there's a bee, woo, go away, go away. Okay, so I have this one already, it's August. But the other day, her, so the one that I have, she doesn't have broken wings, but she does have a broken halo. And the other day I picked her up and a chunk came out from the word August. It was the weirdest thing. Like I didn't drop her or anything. I don't know if it like had been previously broken or something, but I'm, I'm going to keep both of them. I am going to repair her and then I'm just going to set her in with the collection. So it's like my motley uh, collection of broken angels that I rescue from places, which I just love them though. Look at her face. And you know I love August. Oh, it looks, maybe, I can't tell. No, she just needs to be cleaned up a little. She she doesn't, she's not broken except for her halo and her wing. And August is special because that's Maddie's birthday month. Maddie is turning 21 this year. What, what on earth? Ooh, my Valentine is blowing away. How am I old enough to have a 21 year old? I don't know how that happened. Okay, then, I got this for crafting. I think this is so cute. It's from 1989. Someone probably went to a ceramics place and made it. I thought that was so cute. So that'll be lovely. Probably in one of my uh, vintage blocks crafts. I got these for my coastal decor. Those were cute. Some really pretty shells, like nicer than the things that I have. So that will be for my coastal decor. And then I got this for Easter time. It's, just an, it's not actually vintage, but it's made to look like a vintage bunny. This will be so cute in a vignette, in an Easter vignette. And I got this just because I liked it. I guess it's like kind of mid-century looking. I mean, it could be from the 80s, from that Home Co. or Home Interiors. I don't know. There were no others. I feel like it was probably part of a set, but I just think it's really pretty. I don't know what I'll do with it yet. I just picked it up because I liked it. I'm going to put it in with my brass decor for now, and we'll see. I got dominoes. They are vintage dominoes. Someone had tried to sell them. $1.75 for all three packs. There are some missing because the bottom of this one box is missing, but I think there's probably going to be enough to play. Like, I actually plan to play with these. Also, dominoes can be cute in a vignette too, and they're black and white. I don't really want to take them out, but they look exactly like that picture, and I thought they would be cute or to play with. Woo. Okay, allergies. Allergies are going nuts, and I'm trying to do this in one take because I'm a little behind, and it's like after two, and this is supposed to post like at 4.30. See if I can get it done. All right, I got this for my strawberries in my kitchen. I haven't seen a jar with a strawberry lid. I thought that was really cute. And it had a brand, I thought. I thought I saw a brand. Oh, it's just a canning brand, Kerr. So I thought that was really cute and different. I got this because I actually had this and I recently made a DIY out of it. I painted it white, wrapped some twine around it and stuck a bunch of lemons in it. It's such a little cute piece of tray of tiered tray decor. So. Um, I was like, well, I used the one I had. I need another one because, you know, then it's easy to do with like fall flowers or Christmas flowers, whatever. It's like the easiest craft ever and it looks great on a tiered tray. I got this. I was torn. I'm like, am I going to do anything with this? We'll see. I could always donate it back if I don't use it. I'm definitely not going to just paint it because I'm not very good at painting. Um, I don't know. I got it because I was like, you know, it's basically free. I'm probably paying like 50 cents for the thing. So... If I don't use it, I could just put it back, but. Okay, these I got also, um, so I think I mentioned I'm working on an, <clears throat> excuse me, a baby assemblage craft to post on my Etsy shop. I have this vintage baby buggy and some other vintage baby pins and things, and I needed a baby. <laughs> so I found these two. I don't know which one I'll use, but I thought these were so cute. They're those willow tree things I don't I, I don't know if they have any value on their own but I really want to use them in my craft you know unless they're worth like a lot of money I'm not too worried about it I think they'll be really cute in my little baby assemblage craft and then in the same bag was one of these 
These were super popular in the 80s. Um, oh, I can't remember. I don't remember the name. My mother called them cherubs, but that's not, they were called something. Mm, can't think of it. Maybe one of you can tell me in the comments. But my mom collected these and I have her collection downstairs. So if I find them, I don't buy them like often, but if I, this one, you know, it was in my hand and it was in this bag and I was like, oh, look at that and add it to my mom's collection. But that was pretty cute. He looks quizzical. Okay. And then I also got this. It's so cute for crafting for the spring. It says $2.99, made at Gerson International. It's just made in China, but so cute for a spring craft. Oops. All right. And then I'm trying to divide the things between crafting and decor. So when I go inside, it's easy to keep track of. I got this just because I liked it. There was only one. I'm going to use it in the kitchen. I just thought it was a cute pattern. It's totally 50s looking, maybe 60s. It says Mikasa, Sarah Stone, Blue Point, Japan, detergent and oven proof. So if there had been others, I mean, we're always breaking bowls in our house. <laughs> I would have gotten others had there been any, but there were not. Okay. Now we're getting to some of the really cool stuff. Oh my gosh. Why do I love this so much? I don't even know. It's made in Japan and it's a squirrel and it's green. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but I love the thing and I'm so happy that I rescued it. There's no damage. It looks like maybe at one time it, its head was re-glued. So I guess there's damage, but it's like old damage. There's no damage from the bins is what I mean. But they did a really good job gluing him. You can barely like see it. I just think he's so, 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 so cute. So... You know, I have like jadeite and some faux jadeite dishes and some hall uh, ceramic pottery, whatever, that is also this kind of color green. So I think I'm just gonna put it in there. You know, I have a thing for squirrels and rodents too. So you could go with that collection, but those tend to be smaller items that I collect. So this one will probably go with my jadeite just because I can. <laughs> okay, and then let's see, I got this. This I'm going to paint and put in, I know these sell for money, but I actually don't want to sell it. I just want to paint it and put it on the back of my bathroom door. Um, Hannah has been complaining that people keep taking her face towel because there's really no hook for her to just hang her face towel on. So this will give us, us a solution. So I'm just going to give it a coat of paint, hang it on the back of the door. It's going to be great. Then I got the Mac Daddy one. I have never seen one so large. And I think I'm going to put this, when I get my craft room back from my children, once we go back to college, um, I'm going to put, I was thinking like maybe for ribbon or something. Look at how huge this thing is enormous. It's already been painted by someone in this gorgeous aqua color. So I don't even need to paint it. It's huge though. Look at these. I mean, there's so many, I'm totally holding it upside down because there are things to hang it. There's like these little, silver brackets you see those um but it's huge and i think it would be super useful for ribbon i have a ribbon situation going on in my life there's like no good place to store my ribbons where i can still see them and access them easily so i think that might be a good solution and then i got this to craft with um i probably i was thinking more for the wood for the frame because it's already mitered and with a nice angle and again because i like to make signs that's what I was thinking. I don't think I'll use the canvas, but I could if I wanted to. I don't know. Then I got this. I don't know. It's really loosey-goosey. Needs to be tightened. Has screws. If I can make it decent and not look as bad as it looks right now, I plan to use this in my bathroom. If I can't, I will just throw it out. <laughs> I'm not even going to re-donate it if it's really this loose, but I really think it's going to be... Oh, look, I can even tighten it a little as we go here. I think it's fixable. I think it just got loose and someone didn't bother trying to fix it. So we'll see about that. Okay. Then moving on to some things I'm going to sell. I got this. I'm going to put this in my live sale. Uh, my friend and I are, my friend Amy and I are trying to come up with another date. I will announce it soon once we figure that out. We might go for two weeks from today, which I think would be the 9th. I think, but I'm not sure. I will let you all know once I know better. Anyway, um, 
It says a family that prays together stays together. I don't personally decorate in the uh, primitive style, but I know some people really like that. It's the brand At Home America. That was like a home parties um, brand. And I thought someone might like this. It's very lightweight, so it won't cost a lot to ship. But it's in like really good shape. So I'll see if someone wants that at the live sale, if anyone does primitives. And I got this one for the same reason. Bless this house. Also lightweight. This does not say at home America. This almost looks like Kohl's to me or something. But I'm going to put those in, see if anyone wants them. If not, I didn't pay very much for them. I will donate them back to Goodwill and that will be just fine. All right, then I got this. I'm going to put this in the live sale. It's a Wales made in Japan perfume bottle. It's myth. I guess it's missing its little, yeah, there was probably like a little poof thing here, like a, you know, doesn't have that, but it's really pretty. And I thought, well, I don't want it to go to the landfill. So for someone who collects vintage perfume bottles, I thought, well, well maybe. If not, again, I can just, you could take it off and, ooh. You, wow. Oh, definitely was a perfume bottle. Wow, that smells like my grandma. <sighs> um, you could take it off and use it as a bud vase. But I guess I could do that. Also look nice on a tiered tray. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm definitely going to try to sell it though. Okay. And then I got this. This was a bummer. It is a lucite and brass candlestick. And there, there must have been others. I bet I'm the one who came along second and found the leftover because it says $5 for all three. So there were two more of these. I looked and looked and looked and could not find them. But a set of two can go on eBay for like 40 bucks. So I was thinking, well, one, I could get some money. I might even, you know, I should be at least be able to get like 10 bucks for the thing. Sorry, there's like a little gummy stuff from the, I think from the sticker. So that's what I'm planning. For someone who's a mid-century fan, these Lucite candlesticks are highly sought after. So that's why I thought, well, I'll give it a try. All right, and then I haven't decided, I'll show you these. I'm not sure what I'm selling yet or what I'm keeping. Probably just keep them all for now and then go from there, but... I found these really cool old um, alar like alarm clocks, travel. I guess it's like a travel alarm clock. These were so cute. So let's see, they close like this and then they open and you you can put it like that next to your bedside table. So those so, these are so cool. I've seen them before. This one's made by Equity, made in Taiwan. This one is really cool. It's a West clock. It's a little broken. Like it needs a, it's like it needs a screw or something here. It came detached. <clears throat> and I don't know if any of these work. But this one's made in Germany. West clock. And I love the color. So that might go on a tiered tray somewhere just as a piece of decor. Just because I like it. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> and then, whoo, I'm starting to sweat. Whew, it's hot out. It's hot out here, friends. Okay, and then I got three vintage cameras so there's this one which is so cool the film has the date on it january 1972 so this is this predates me and it's this whole kit it's by ansco so it comes with the camera the wrist thing i don't think this thing was ever like used or taken out i think this was probably given as a gift and then just was never used because look at this is amazing. I don't even want to take it out right now, but look, it has, like, it's like you, how you would receive, like, a camera kit, you know? So, ooh, thought that was so cool. Two things of unopened film, a thing of unopened flash bulbs, the flash bulb attachment, the camera, and then I don't know what these were for, maybe, or maybe this is just to position it. That's just cardboard. Okay. So that was just to keep it in its box. So, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know that it was ever, like, used at all and here's the instruction book so it's a perfect little camera set very cool i will add it to my vintage camera collection for now which i can't display right now because i no longer have my craft room where all my collections were displayed but i'm working through it i'm working through it and then i got this cool one this still has pictures in it oh my i'd love to get that developed and see see what's in there hopefully nothing bad look at that oh my gosh it's a total flashback to my childhood i might have just taken a picture i heard it click that's weird okay so there's that one that's a 110 and then this little one was so cute what is it oh i thought it was a camera 
It's a radio. Delmonico. Well, that's awesome. Is there a battery? I don't know how this thing would have worked. It says made in Japan. No idea. I'm guessing there's a bat. Oh, got it. There's a battery. It does not look corroded. I bet I could replace that battery and see if it see if it'll work again that is the cutest thing did you see the little case it was in i definitely thought it was a camera i didn't even open it at the bins because it was with all the cameras so i just assumed but it's a little radio that's so adorable hmm. all right that's it that's oh that's not true i have one more thing i got a piece of furniture let me insert the clip here this is my new table i got it for five dollars at the bins i love the hardware the drawer works and I'm not going to do anything to it other than oil it because, you know, it looks a little dry. There's a certain oil you can use, which is slipping my mind. I have to look it up. I, I will let you know when I do it. It's got this little, like, rough spot here, but I don't care. I think it adds to the character. I love it. Let's see. Made in Mexico. So that was my find of the day. I love that table. I actually have it all set up in my family room and I haven't, I wiped it down, but I haven't like oiled it yet. I might, might do a very light uh, grayish stain on it just to tone down the honey color. It's a little, maybe too honey-ish for me. I haven't decided yet, but I really like the table. It looks really good in our room and it looks good with some of the other things that we have. So alert i was just cleaning up and i found one other thing that i forgot to show you it's this advertising calendar from 1985 but look at this picture i think it's great this i might put in my sale at the live sale i think it's just really adorable someone might want it if not i could keep it i think it's really cute but anyway that's the last thing for real for realsies and that's all that I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed hunting with me at the Goodwill Outlet Bins and then seeing what I found. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about the uh, Get It Done Challenge coming this Friday, July 31st, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you're planning to participate, that's when your video should be uploaded. And uh, check out my DIY channel and my home and garden channel. And until my next video, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.